The Drake Bulldogs came away 21-6 winners this afternoon at Drake Stadium, having little trouble with the Western Illinois Leathernecks. The Dogs led all the way. First quarter, third play of the game, and Gary Yagelski's pass to Tom Garrity is good for 31 yards. Looks like Drake might take a first quarter lead for a change. And here, first and 10 from the Leatherneck 47, Gary Yagelski decides to hang on to it. Threads his way through the crowd with the help of a few nice blocks, and Yagelski is in for the opening touchdown. Drake 7-0 after the kick. Just about four minutes left in the first period, and Drake's Will Shoop, he of the flypaper hands, grabs a Western Illinois pass and returns it nine yards. And that set the scene for this third and one play. Tom Holt with a spin and a lot of determination. Holt scores, finishing off a 19-yard Drake drive. Dogs out front, 14 to nothing. In the second quarter, Western Illinois manager only score of the afternoon, coming on an eight-yard pass. Tom Pence to Jerome Stelly. 14 to 6 at the half. The Drake quarterback Yagelski been shook up in the first period. Backup quarterback Greg Ostrowski played the second quarter, and after the half, he was finally starting to get it together. That was a third quarter, 40 yard pass to Tom Gary from Ostrowski, and watch this one. First and 10 of the 26, Ostrowski rolls left and lets it go to Mike Williams in the far corner. Williams in for the touchdown. Drake with a comfortable 21 to 6 lead, and that's the way it ended. Here's the play late in the first quarter that may have put Drake quarterback Gary Yagelski out of the game for the second, third, and fourth quarters as he came head-to-head -head right there with a Leatherneck defender. No real need to play him, however, and it did give Ostrowski a chance to show what he can do as Bulldogs had a comfortable lead most of the way. Also worth noting, Amaro Ware's seventh consecutive game over 100 yards today, 152 for Ware this afternoon. Dogs now 3-0. Doesn't get any easier, however, as they're at Kansas State next week. John Lifite, TV8 Sports.